people ahead. say I'm a hypocrite, right? Do Some. people say that, right? Some. Yes, I am. 100%. I'm a human being. Celebrities who can't stand Kanye West, Drake. This narrative revolves around two famed rappers, Drake and Kanye, whose friendship eventually evolved into rivalry. Drake, well known in the music industry, once held West in high regard, even expressing admiration for him in a 2013 MTV interview. Kanye West is making a peace offering to Drake, following the rapper's long-standing feud. However, a shift in their relationship occurred, escalating from rumored disagreements to confirmed discord in May 2018. This change was largely attributed to Virginia rapper Push a T, a signee of West's Good Music label, who in his track, The Story of Edadon, exposed Drake's hidden fatherhood. The world was shocked when Kanye West collaborator Pusha T exposed Drake's secret son on a diss track. Drake was persuaded that West played a role in leaking this information despite their feud. Drake confessed in a 2019 rap writer interview that he still ranks West among his favorite artists. Though he accused him of falseness in his public displays of fondness, the feud continued to intensify in 2021. West launched his Donned album on August 29, followed by Drake's certified lover boy LP five days later. Both albums featured tracks taking jabs at each other. Fueling fan debates over who would achieve higher sales. By the end of 2021, there seemed to be a semblance of peace between West and Drake. Drake and West's rivalry has not only captivated the attention of fans, but has also sparked discussions on the dynamics of friendship and competition in the music industry. Their feud highlights how even in a seemingly collaborative field, jealousy and ego can drive a wedge between one's close friends. I was in a really weird pending situation where I didn't want to go tell the world. Mm. Jennifer Aniston. The feud between global hip hop artists Kanye and Drake is understandable. Given their standing as two of the world's top rappers and the highly competitive nature of rap, West's dispute with the Democrats also didn't shock many considering his adoption of far-right ideologies. However, a row between West and Jennifer Aniston, the star of Friends, was an unexpected plot twist. The rift stemmed from West's 2020 presidential campaign, which Aniston publicly criticized. She voiced her disapproval on Instagram, urging people not to vote for West and to take their vote seriously. West, in response, took a jab at her, tweeting that Friends was not funny. However, he later deleted the tweet, implying he may have found some amusement in the popular 90s sitcom after all. Chris Brown recounting the numerous contentious remarks made by Kanye over the years is akin to attempting to enumerate the snowflakes in a snowman. However, his comments on slavery during a 2018 appearance on TMZ Live will likely continue to attract criticism. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. The term backlash is insufficient to encapsulate the fervent reactions West's statements elicited from celebrities, historians, media commentators, and the general public. Among the reactors was Chris Brown, who decried West as a clown in a now-removed Instagram post and advised people not to follow West's negative trajectory, as reported by USA Today. Furthermore, in August 2021, the Deuces artist criticized West for excluding his verse from New Again, a track on the Donda album. West's comments on slavery not only sparked outrage, but also reignited conversations about the legacy of slavery and its impact on black Americans. Many pointed out that West's statements demonstrated a lack of understanding and empathy towards the traumatic history of slavery. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.